today we're gonna be installing a cold air intake from Unitronic. If you are just here for the noises, then just proceed to this time in the video. But if you're here for also an installation video, then follow me. All right, so when you get your box from Euro Tuning, it comes with the following parts. You've got your air filter, air filter box, which is metal, pretty great. Three rubber bushings that go on the back of the box. You've got your intake hose, which is metal. You've got the, the rubber extension. And then you've got these two clamps that go on each end, which glad that they're like little Phillips head clamps. And they're not those stupid ones you have to grip together to get with a vice grip to get them off. Anyways, then you've got this mysterious rubber coupling, um, tiny baby air filter, and a mysterious baby hose that I don't actually uh, know where they go. This didn't come with instructions, so I'm sure there are some online. Um, but we're just gonna figure this out like men. Hi. Okay. These are the tools you're going to need. You're gonna need some vice grips of some sort. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench. And you're going to need this star bit that I forget the name of. A T25. And if you've got little baby hands like I do, some gloves. All right, let's get down to business. First thing, you're going to need to disconnect your negative terminal because allegedly, if you don't do that, and if you just install this with the battery not disconnected, uh, it's just going to throw a check engine code for whatever reason, from what I understand. So we're just going to do that. Oh, and this is with the 10 millimeter, by the way. This is kind of the worst spot to be because you've got a metal bit right there and you have to get the terminal off. Whatever, it's just like stupid grapes. I'm actually just going to tape this off so I don't forget that it's disconnected. Now that that is disconnected, I'm going to take off this bar because you have to free this up to get to this housing right here. So, so we're gonna take off these two bits, which you will use your Torx bit for. Also got like a little clip back here. So just pull that up and boom, baby, comes right up. After you've removed that, you're gonna take this hose off these little clamps. I think this is a coolant hose. Come on, there we go. Now I'm gonna take off these bits here to get rid of our factory plastic box. So I lied earlier, you're definitely gonna need an extension for this for the back bits, so. You're also going to need to remove this hose and you're going to use your vice grips to unclench this and take this bad boy off. Also, it looks like you're going to need to take this little bad boy behind here off. And it looks like it's just a little clamp you can squeeze off with your fingers, so we're going to try and do that. From what I understand, you just kind of have to brute force this thing up off of the little bushings underneath it. So we're gonna do that. So I totally forgot to take this off because this is its own separate piece and it definitely just comes off, which is kind of necessary to take the rest of this off. So now I have got to take this 
hose out of here. So I'm just gonna use my bias grip and get that boy off there. Go ahead and start putting that new one on. So I guess our aftermarket air box gets rid of this weird hose thing coming out the bottom of the stock air box. I don't know what it is exactly though because it doesn't appear to be really functioning. How many of you know what this is? What is this? It just doesn't seem to go anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and put our bushings on our aftermarket air box. It's got little Unitronic stamps, like even on the bushings. That's so funny. Alright. Okay, so now I understand what this is. This doesn't just fit on that hose. But this does. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Alright, so I lied yet again. You're obviously gonna need a Phillips head to tighten these down. Excuse me, a flat head. Putting this bad boy in. All right, so obviously this is the right hose where this goes on this end and this goes on this end. All right, I'm just gonna put my little um, boy back in. Okay, we've made it this far without instructions, but I did have to go to Unitronics website and be like, okay, what do I do with all the rest of this stuff? So, our little baby filter actually goes on this hose that runs underneath the air intake, which has a name that I forgot. And then this here, and this open hose here, they get a nice coupling. So now we figured out where our spare parts come. Go, it's fine. If you take a flathead to this little part right here, um, apparently this just pops right off and you can screw on your baby filter. There she goes, back in to her hole. Hole, back into her hole, perhaps. Definitely should have done that before I put this on, but you know what? This is a learning experience, maybe for all of us. I don't know. So I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use this hose somewhere. Um, but we're using this coupling. Found that at the bottom of the box. It just kind of makes sense and it has like enough space right here to be installed. All right, time for this bad boy. I think this is pre-oiled or it doesn't need oiling. My husband just told me not to oil it, even though I was like, where is the air oil at? So I'm just gonna install it. I believe him, so we're not putting oil on it. Also, I just wanted to add, while I've been using a Phillips head and like a flat head for these things, um, according to Unitronics website, you can also just use a four millimeter. So that would probably be a lot easier. <laughs> I'm 
back on. All right, well, let's connect the negative terminal and see what we messed up. <laughs> 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 From what I understand, all of these go away um, after you've driven it for a second. When Volkswagen, uh, when the batteries disconnected, they just freak out. I'm new to uh, to Volkswagen, so this is very new to me. Literally drove out of the driveway and all of the lights. Hello, no thank you. All of the lights are gone, so yay. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's see what this sounds like um, after the car is worn up. Give it a few revs. Oh, so I forgot to mention that I also have the Borla Catback exhaust installed on my car. So this is not stock with just a new airbox. Proceed. <laughs> Does anybody want the stock airbox and hose? Uh, if you want the stock airbox and hose, let me know in the comments and just pay for shipping. Or I'll just throw it away. I don't know. 